Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Let's play Hearts Fire 4. Let us continue on with our lovely, lovely African Union. I think, see, did I turn on Fog of War? No, I turned it off. Look at me go. For one step ahead of myself. So if I sound a little bit strange, which is very possible, the, the, uh, truth about that is that my nose is a bit stuffy. I've been a little bit, uh, a little sick this past week. Nothing like super major, just a little bit of a sore throat, a little bit of a of a sniffly nose. Which is one reason why there hasn't been uh, both. There hasn't been any Dune videos and there hasn't been any of this series for the past few days. Because I, I, I didn't sound right. Okay, let's just put it that way. So it is 1939. It's October right now. I would real. I really want to start engaging in Africa in, in some capacity. Also, somebody in the comments was saying that one reason that um, guarantee independence. Somebody in the comments was saying that because these countries don't like us, they're never going to accept. Um, they're, they're never. They're never going to accept the. Uh, why can I not even remember what it's called? The Organization of African Unity. So if we can get them on our side. We can make them a little bit happier with us. I mean, I might as well do all of you, right? Guarantee independence, improve relations, yes. Also, this is one of the uh, the new songs from the DLC. I feel like we haven't really been getting too many uh, new, new songs. But I mean, I think they added, what, like 10? Something like that? Okay, but 154. Do I need to get... I, we do need to extend the conscription. So we, we will be getting you next. Uh, we are spending 0.4 per day. Damn. Poland's refused a German ultimatum. Germany's attacked Poland. Portugal's declared a war on Spanish Imperial. What the hell? What is going? Why is why is Imperial Spanish Portugal communist? What the? What is what is going on over here? Why is Imperial Spanish Portugal communist? I don't know. But Poland has now joined up with the Allies. So I guess World War II has now officially begun in in earnest. But I mean, Axis right now, it's literally just Germany. Japanese shogunate. Oh yeah, I forgot that Japan and the uh, British were already at war. So you guys are now joining the Axis as well. I mean, it does put us in like an interesting situation. Because again, I do want to attack the British Empire. Point four daily. You know what? Like, beer, who doesn't like us? I mean, you're, actually, you're already at plus 41. How much, how much do you actually gain off of improved relations? I I don't actually know because I, I do it so rarely. It looks like it's actually like plus 2.5 maybe a day, plus 3 a day. That's actually fairly quick. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised it's actually that fast. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, Poland is going to die very, very soon. I don't think anybody should be super surprised by that. What do you want to make it a... F you, st you would accept the faction invite. But I Italy still won't actually pull the trigger on that. I mean, again, because I can't create factions quite yet. And uh, I, guess I guess Italy also can't make a faction yet. I don't know where we can make a faction. I thought getting our way down to the African Union would have given us a faction. But apparently that was not the case. Because I did see here i think yeah this creates a faction the african union but uh i don't have an option i i can't join unfortunately anti-soviet pact don't care about that so much i mean if the british were to capitulate i guess potentially then i mean would all these countries go independent it would be nice if they did but I, I don't know if they actually will. Okay, so you guys are now at plus 87. So I'm actually just going to give myself 25 political power just so I can at least test this. Angola, would you now accept an invitation? I mean, I wouldn't mind getting them into the executive council. At that point, we can then annex them, and I think that would be quite nice. It's 75 points here. Fantastic. Poland's fallen, not a big surprise. Okay, so they have joined. And then we can get them, intimidate their leadership, invite them into the central bank. Invite them to the mutual defense agreement as well. So we can get more and more people into our little faction, which is nice. 
Uh, let's get Mozambique next. Liberia. You do like us now. You're plus 90. So I'm assuming you'll also say yes. I mean, I would be happy with it. Remove conservative high command. I mean, we do get... I mean, it's actually... It's like... It's an attack penalty. Land doctrine cost plus 50%. How have I been paying a penalty this whole time? Apparently, I was not aware of this. Okay. Boots on the shores. Cost ability we don't really care about. Where's our... um? We, we had somewhere in here the naval base. Because I don't think we ever actually established it. So you know what? Let's get our naval base. Get two dockyards. We can slowly start building convoys. Okay, we're, we're getting points, though. Mozambique has joined our little uh, group as well. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with it. And, you know, I'm glad they said it's going to cost us a lot of political power. I'm guessing we need to... Invite them to everything, and then... And then we can try to annex them? I mean, I would be... I mean, I'd be happy with it. Because, again, you're still at war with the British. I honestly don't see any way that this really progresses at this point. Are you in, are you in the Allies? No, you're, you're just as uh, neutral. I mean, we could attack France for uh, Djibouti down here. But again, I wouldn't mind attacking the British and just slowly annexing all of their colonies into the African Union. 195 days on you. I mean, we could get a 45-day cost of belly against the British. And there's nobody... I mean, we could try to... Oh, I don't even know. I was thinking we could maybe try, like, try to attack Belgium. Italian call for aid. They're torn apart in a civil war. I don't think that's actually true. Wait, Qin China is declared independence. If anything, it actually would make sense for them to join the uh, the allies here. But I mean, we'll see how that goes for the Qing. I'm gonna take a guess and say not super well. But you know, they could surprise us. Germany declared war on Yugoslavia. Sure, why not? I'm sure you'll then join the allies. Right? You will you will join the allies? I mean, that would make sense. Once your election... You, so you had an election. You actually stayed democratic, even though you were 59% communist. And then Yugoslavia. You're now at war with the French. France hasn't actually joined a faction. Maybe... You know what? Maybe it's time for us to uh, seize on this opportunity. Get out of Somaliland. Move our troops near Digibooty. Maybe we'll just go to war with the French commune. Where? I mean, it costs 50 points. And then in 14 days, we get a cost of belly against you. I mean, as long as we do any of the ones against the French, I guess it doesn't really matter. We might see the French leave here. And do you still have disjointed government, by the way? No, so France will capitulate at a normal, uh, a normal percentage. Why are you at war with... Because you're guaranteeing Yugoslavia. So now you're at war with Romania. It's, it's a weird... Look, it's, it's a very strange World War II we've got going on. Nobody's going to deny that World War II is not acting a little bit weird here. Where's Digibooty? There it is. Yeah, see if you can liberate uh, Digibooty from the French Commune. We'll get improved weapons. We're not going to join Germany's faction. I don't even think Germany would say yes, even if we were uh, the same ideology. You've declared war on Luxembourg. We knew sure. Why not? The Dutch are joining the Allies. Belgium joined. Did, did Germany just end? I don't know if Germany's ended up killing themselves here. Dominican Republic is joining the Axis. Sure. Why not? I mean, I don't know why Dominican Republic would, would choose... That, uh, that side, but who am I to judge? We have no planes. Uh, I guess we'll 39. Venezuela's joining Axis. Italy, like, this would be a great time for us to make a faction together. National Front, so, okay. So you have had a very, very... Why have you signed a white piece with the... English. 
Wait, what? Because you've now declared war on France. The colonization of the British Empire. Wait, are you now all independent? You are. Oh! <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So now we need to have... Because you're all in the Allies. I mean, it's, it's interesting for sure. Naval College, we'll say no to this. Let's remove our penalties here. We should now have a cost ability against France. In three days. Wait, are you... Does that mean that Japan is no longer at war with... Uh... Oh, because China, I guess, technically won the war against Japan. That triggered the peace event between all of the allies and all of the Axis. I mean, it's strange. Don't get me wrong. But that seems to be the... Uh... That seems to be what happened here. Yeah, let's just liberate Digibooty. Hell yeah. Move our units into the area. We'll capture the port city. And yeah, we definitely can't join your faction. You don't like us. Different ideology. But like Italy, just... No, we're not going to join the Axis. And I don't think I need to explain to you why we're not. You might fall back. Okay, no, you're now encircled. Take you all out. There we go. Fantastic. Look at you. Where do I put your units next? Because, again, I don't really have a border with France. That would make sense. Germany has a lot of units. And, again, I can't... I don't think we're ever going to... Invite Liberia. I, Liberia should say yes. They have 81 opinion of us. How many how many points we generate per day? 1.13. It's not, okay, it's not very good. Is there anything we can do? Does anything here give us like a large just just a lot of uh political power? I think the answer is no. Anything that we could have done is has already passed. Liberia joined our uh faction, which is not a faction, but you know what I mean. They they joined our organization, which I'm happy with. Okay, so we'll upgrade you guys to be level 2. We're going to get our dockyard. Produce a single convoy. We also technically have fighters. We'll take one off of you. I'm happy with that at the moment. We have 10 units slowly trying to deploy. Do I have enough artillery to throw them into our big stack here? Yes. Save that. Fashion Frost way, Uh... Nation Francois, no, decline this. Just for the time being. Because again, you need you do need to get down to 20% like normal. You're now the Iberian Socialist Union. Who is just stuck in I have no idea what's going on in Portugal right now. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think anybody actually knows what's going on in Portugal. It's a bit of a mess all around. I think I wanna get I mean I want Italy in my faction. They can help us invade southern France, but I guess other than that. Intimidate their leadership. I mean, you said yes. They're all the way down here in the bottom. Okay. French Commune would be offered a peace deal in exchange for releasing claims of Digibooty. The African territory currently controls. If they agree, African Union will gain a subject and control territory that has a core of Digibooty. Huh. But what do you need to do that over and over and over again? Because it seems like the answer would be yes. Somalia, you don't like us because of our uh, claim territory. Everyone else doesn't like us because of, I'm assuming it's the, yeah, general tension. I don't know if that goes away on its own. I don't remember. I don't, I don't think it does. Soviet French pact. Okay. Does that mean that you guys are now in a, you're not in a faction. But maybe one day you will be, and that'll, uh, that'll be grand for all of you. I think, like, if, there's so many countries that, uh, that need to join our little faction, to join our organization, and we need to somehow bring them all in to be able to get annexed. 
Yeah, 0.4 per day. How much we generate? 1.13. Okay, let's just get our two neighbors here. Wait, no, you're not in a faction. You're all, you know what? Let's get everybody who's at least not in a faction first. I feel like they're maybe more likely to actually say yes. The thing is, we bring Italy into this war. It's really going to... They can take territory away from us, but I guess, I guess so could Germany in this instance. Which is not super, super good. Who owns... Wait, does, do the Dutch own this? No. French do. Okay. Well, specifically fascist France owns that. It's, it's still very strange. I mean, like, 150... Just to invite them into the Executive Council costs 150. To actually annex all of these smaller countries is going to take a... A lot of work. Let's just put it that way. Okay, so they're at 41. Is 41 good enough? We have to wait until we actually are at 25. Right now they're at 46. I don't know what the exact number is for them to agree to it is. I mean, I guess I could check the, um, the event code, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, so Kenny has joined. So 50 seems like it's at least good enough. We have one, two, three, four. We have five members right now, which honest, honestly is like pretty good. Germany is performing horribly. I mean, I guess we could not take a focus to get political power a little bit faster. Is that, is that what we is that what I want though? Max entrenchment, common soldier. I mean, uh, state owned industry. You know what? Two swim factory. Sure, I'll take it. The Germany's now slowly pushing their way into Yugoslavia. Again, they would say yes. They're protective towards the French commune, which I, I understand. But they, they like us. Me and uh, me and Gramsci here, we're, we're good friends. How many troops do you guys have now? 15 to 81, 48 to 162. I mean, Stalin should end up winning this uh, civil war eventually. Also, I'm pretty sure Germany is also going to invade the Soviet Union at, at some point, even though uh, they don't even border each other. 25. Yeah, let's go match mobilization. Let's not worry about deep battle, because I think eventually we will be able to get... What are you at? You're at 87. We don't need more relations in this. 87 should be good enough. Executive council member. If we get more political power, the more they're influencing us. I mean, yes, but really not by a ton. Oh, so let's bring these units back over to... Uh, the Mali, uh, Somalia. Just to kind of, you know, keep our eyes on things. Because Uganda's in the Allies. Botswana isn't. I don't think we can invite South Africa. I mean, we actually could. Even though South Africa, I mean, they're very fascist right now. I think eventually they will almost certainly switch to being fascist. Because you are in the Allies. Nigeria... Ghana are not in the Allies. I don't know what makes them different. The Gambia also is not actually in the Allies. So they are independent states. And that's good. Let's invite you next. I mean, I like I, it would make sense that... Um, it, it, would it would make sense... That countries within the actual allies would not join our organization. Okay, the popular front block has formed. Who is in the popular block? Uh, it's a lot of people. Actually. Including Italy. Which means that I might be at war with the... It means I'm actually at war with everyone here. Okay, well... <laughs> very cool, very cool. 
mean, we could offer peace with France. Once we get up to what? Once we get up to uh, 50 political power. But the problem is now. Yeah, no, this is this is less than ideal. Also, apparently, who's actually leading this faction? It's whoever is yellow. I don't... Who Who's in charge of this? We got India. We got free India down here. Doesn't really affect us too much. Who... I don't know who's in charge of this faction. Oh, it's you! You're in charge. You're a puppet of Spain. What the hell are you talking about? Anyways... Let's not worry about that too much, because it's, it's just very, very weird. So, uh, 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 a communist puppet state of fascist Spain is currently in charge of the Popular Front. I don't, I don't really know why or how, but I think for the moment I'm just not going to question it, because it, it scares me. Just ever so slightly. Just ever so slightly. Look how many countries there are still do, uh... To actually invite into our faction. One more unit, so I need to green army. We're not training any more units. Do I have supply? I mean, I, we could train more units as well. We have, we have about 10,000 guns. You're not at war with us. Guinea Bastow has decided to, uh, to not join. I mean, that's nice. You know? And then Romania and Yugoslavia still have not actually found anybody to be allied with. You, of course, are at war with basically everybody. It's a very strange, uh, very strange circumstance. I have no idea what's going on with, uh, with India over here. I mean, they are at war with the, the Axis, but they're not actually in the Allies. So I'm not too sure what's, what's happening over there. And I think, you know what? I'm just not even going to ask. It's not my, uh, not my jurisdiction. I'm going to see if you can offer peace with France. I mean, they are at war with Germany. Germany really wants me to join their faction. I'm going to say no to that right now. I wonder if they'll say yes. If they don't say yes, I'm just giving myself the political power back. I mean, I would understand why they would say no in this circumstance. Yeah, they've agreed to the peace offer, which means I should have Digibooty now as a puppet state. Can I join your faction? I mean, I could. I could join their faction. Which is which would be like a very strange set of circumstances for us. But it would also be a little bit funny. It would also be funny. You know what? Sure, let's join their faction. It will mean that I won't be able to unify all of. There we go. We're now, we're now, of course, a member of the, the Popular Front block. And I still want to go to war with the. I mean, yeah, I want to go to the war with the Allies. 150 days, so I can take over this other area, like the rest of these lands. I think it would be nice to have. But I also think that at least for right now, this is a really good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for uh, watching. My name is If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now, do you want to close them down? You want to subscribe and goodbye.